Uh, we are very happy today to have um, Mr. Ashim Datta with us. He's the former president of the Federation of India Community of Northeast Ohio, and he was born and raised in Calcutta. Ashim. What a tremendous joy it is uh, to be standing at the uh, base of Mother Teresa statue on Martin Luther King Boulevard, not too far from the statue of Mahatma Gandhi. Peace through mutual understanding, as Sheila said. What more, uh, what more exciting can it be? Distinguished guests, good afternoon and namaste. In typical Indian tradition, I offer my respects to you. I am from Calcutta. Today it is known as Kolkata, the city of Mother Teresa, the city of joy, and I present myself as a son of that city and that mother. The attire that I am wearing today is what men traditionally wear in Kolkata. The traditional attire for women is about an eight-year-old, eight-year-old uh, uh, piece of fabric that is worn around the waist down and then uh, draped over the shoulder. It is known as a sari. When Mother Teresa chose to settle in Calcutta, Kolkata, among many other Calcutta ways of life she embraced, she embraced the sari too, and it continued to be her only attire till she breathed her last. In other words, Mother Teresa became a Calcuttan in body and soul. As a society, sometimes our inclination has generally been to turn away from those who are suffering from infectious, incurable diseases like leprosy and AIDS. Not the mother, not Mother Teresa. She ran toward them. Mother Teresa earned fame and accolades over a lifetime spent working with the poor and the sick with orphans, lepers, and AIDS patients. In a densely populated city of more than several million residents, there were many homeless, diseased, and uncared for, and Mother Teresa set up innumerable shelters from them. Her faith was so strong that she was never afraid to touch and care for them and hold them when no one else would. She became a true mother, embracing the poorest of the poor with love. I would like to sing a little verse from a song that was a favorite of hers. This was composed by 1913 Nobel laureate from Kolkata, Rabindranath Tagore, and actually it was sung at the Vatican this morning at the ceremony. <laughs> Tabu bhubane, tabu bhubane, mure aru aru aru, dao sthan, mure aru aru aru, dao pran, aru alo, aru alo, e nayo ne prabhu dhalo, shure shure, bashe pure, tumi aru aru aru, dao tan mure, aru aru aru, dao pran. In English, more life, my lord, yet more, to quench my thirst and fill me, more space, my lord, yet more, freely to unfurl my being. More light, my lord, yet more, to make my vision pure. More tunes, my lord, yet more, stirring the strings of my heart. More pain, my lord, yet more, to lead me to a deeper consciousness. More knocks, my lord, yet more, to break open my prison door. My love, my lord, yet more, to completely drown myself. More of thee, my lord, yet, in thy sweetness of grace abounding. I do not know if I am perceived by society as a good person, but I do know that I became a better person for having breathed the same air that Mother Teresa did in Kolkata and influenced by her examples of compassion 
and love. Thank you.